Yo, what's up guys? Back at you with another one on today. This is Noble Sports Entertainment, your home for breaking sports news and sports talk. Make sure you subscribe to the Detroit Sports Alliance. Their links will be below in the description. Make sure you smash the like button and when you click on the bell icon, make sure you select all that you may be able to receive every upload and notification from Noble Sports Entertainment. All right, guys, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. All right, guys, looks like the Detroit Lions are busy on today. Pretty much, guys, I thought that the Detroit Lions were sold on Josh Johnson being the backup quarterback to Matthew Stafford. Um, and looks like they're not really sold on Josh Johnson because if not, they wouldn't have released him on today. So it looks like they released him on today and uh, definitely wishing Josh Johnson nothing but the best. I definitely thought that he would have been a solid veteran backup to Matthew Stafford. And he picked up the system really well, man. You're talking about a guy that came in. Uh, on the fly and learned the system on the fly and uh, performed in the preseason and did what he needed to do to beat out the rest of the guys to be the new, uh, the number two uh, quarterback on the team. So definitely, man, wishing Josh Johnson nothing but the best and hopefully he'll find another gig in the NFL as well. Uh, the guy definitely gets talented, have some wheels on him, but the Detroit Lions just opt to go in a different direction. So we'll see what happens from that. But also in news, the Detroit Lions pretty much got their eyes sold on this guy i think what the lions are trying to do they got a, a lot of stock invested into this guy um they want to see if they can develop this quarterback uh david blah uh you know he signed with us towards the end of the uh the preseason and the detroit lions look like they want to make him the backup quarterback to matthew stafford um what i do know about this kid which i don't know a lot about him but what I do know about him is he had he was uh, the quarterback that beat Ohio State last season with Purdue. And um, this year, you know what I'm saying, earlier in the season, he was with the, uh, the Cleveland Browns because he's, he's an undrafted uh, rookie uh, quarterback. So the Detroit Lions must really, really be impressed with this kid and really like what David Blah brings to the game. Hopefully this guy will pan out as a number two uh, quarterback to Matthew Stafford. If not, the Detroit Lions will be in the, uh, will be in trouble if Matthew Stafford gets hurt this season. I, I just really don't think that the Lions uh, invested a lot of time in trying to bring in a number two quarterback. So that's why they've been playing musical cheers with these quarterbacks because they're not really sold on them. So we'll see, man. If David Blah is definitely that talent talented is enough to uh, carry this team, if Matthew Stafford happens to get hurt. Because as we know, a lot of uh, quarterbacks have been getting injured. Drew Brees, um, and as well as uh, Big Ben Roethlisberger, he is out for the season, and Drew Brees is out for six weeks. So we'll see, man, um, if this guy can get the job done. It, it, it looks like the Lions saw something in him that a lot of us uh, fans did not see, and we'll see if he is the guy for the job to back up Matthew Stafford. But other than that, man. Um, I don't. David Blah will be the quarterback that the Detroit Lions uh, figure to uh, develop. So we'll see how this guy pans out. If he will be able to stay in a Detroit Lions uniform, um, all signs indicate to the Lions pointing to him to uh, be able to groom this guy to be able to back up Matthew Stafford. So we'll see what happens in, in this uh, transition. But also, uh, the Detroit Lions signed another quarterback on today. Uh, signing a uh, former uh, Cincinnati Bengal quarterback, Jeff uh, Dreisgold, on today. So adding another quarterback, basically uh, Dreisgold probably will end up going to the uh, the practice team. And uh, David Blah will end up being that uh, number two quarterback. Now it's going to be very interesting because I know Josh Johnson pretty much learned the system really, really quick. And was able to pick up on it fast and probably because of... Uh, him being an NFL journeyman and going to different teams and being able to uh, know how the NFL works. So it's definitely interesting, man, uh, to see why the Lions picked up another quarterback in Jeff uh, Drasco and why they did not believe in Josh Johnson anymore and decided to go in a different direction on today. But you know it's the Detroit Lions, and these are some of the things that the Lions do uh, that puzzle you sometimes, but we'll see if this thing pans out. All right, guys, make sure you subscribe to Noble Sports Entertainment because on this channel, we talk sports, period. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Till next time, peace.